Hey guys, this is Brett from Early Days Productions, and today we're going to show you how to clean your media, such as CDs or DVDs or LPs, how to clean them cheaply and uh, efficiently. And before we do that, we're going to show you some of the things that we found while we were thrifting this week. Um, first up, we have Yoga for Golfers. You see that? Yoga for Golfers. Now, I don't know how many of you are actual golfers. Um, I go every once in a while, usually once or twice a year. And while I'm not the greatest golfer in the world, uh, I'm probably not the worst. And it's always irritating to have to wait for people while they're golfing. Um, I know it's a test of patience, and I'm sure there are plenty of people that feel the same way about waiting for me while they're uh, waiting to golf. But can you imagine uh, people doing their yoga? You know, it's bad enough having to wait in line for them to hit the ball, but uh, then you've got to wait for them to stretch and to pull out their yoga mat and all that. So uh, that'll be interesting. But it, it actually uh, is worth some decent money, and uh, I haven't watched it yet, but it sounds interesting. Uh, next up, these are actually very cool. War of the Worlds and When Worlds Collide. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for those old um, sci-fi movies. I especially love War of the Worlds. Uh, When's, when Worlds Collide is very good, too. Both of these are George Pal movies. Anybody that knows uh, a little something about George Pal, uh, he was an animator who started making uh, sci-fi and action movies. And uh, pretty much anything he did, I love. Uh, next up is Misery. And this is the... Uh, Basically, the title that gave Kathy Bates a, a name. Um, she was quietly a good actress for quite a while, but this was the one that put her on the map. And this is in the wrap, so that was really an excellent find. Um, and all of these are found very cheaply. Here's another one that's very cool, again on the sci-fi. Um, this is Manhattan Project. Uh, I do a lot of thrifting. I've done it for years, and I run into this very rarely, and this is a good addition, um, excellent movie with John Lithgow from the 80s. Uh, now, obviously, everybody's trying to come up with an answer for uh, our schools. Our public schools are becoming uh, war zones, and apparently somebody came up with a great idea that Kung Fu for Teens, now this would be a way to make sure that your child is safe when they go to school, if they can pull out their inner Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee, um, or even uh, Danielson, <laughs> and make sure that they are safe. So interesting, Kung Fu for Teens, still in the wrap. Um, I don't know how surprising it is it's still in the wrap, but uh, I still thought that was very interesting. Uh, we also found some books this week, uh, two of them that we found was a hat trick of horrid henry can you see that okay hat trick of horrid henry three books in one this is a brand new copy so this is very nice um, i have not read these stories i know they're popular uh, but i have not read them looks good uh, next one the fox terriers this is information and advice on how to help you take good care of your fox terrier uh, Lots of pictures and tips and other things in there. Another brand new copy. Uh, another thing that I found that was very cool. This is a book and record set. Uh, the record's in pretty decent condition. It's got some scratches, but doesn't affect the play. Um, and the book itself is in good condition. Nothing has pulled away from the staples or anything. So it's, it's in decent condition. There's a little bit of scuffing on the front and on the back um, but otherwise a decent copy and when I was a kid uh, we didn't have even when I was a little kid we didn't even have videos there was no VHS no nothing it, the, they were making them but our family didn't get them until I was in middle school um, and so before that it was all records and, and Book and records were basically our videos, and used to love these things. Used to have a ton of them. Uh, this particular one I didn't have when I was growing up, but I'm sure I would have been interested in. 
it is part of the electric company and I always love the electric company. Um, another thing, and these are the last few items I'm gonna show you. We found a lot of other items, um, but these are the last I'm gonna show you this week. And these are some comics that we found. Uh, first up is Sad Sack. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember Sad Sack, but uh, it's a decent comic book character in very good condition. Um, next is Prince Valiant. This was actually in the paper when I was growing up. Uh, Prince Valiant, and this is a, a decent copy. This one here is Big Bang Comics. I had never heard of this before, um, but apparently it's a retro comic. And these guys have been doing this for 20 years, and apparently they're still doing it. Looked up the website. Very interesting. Big Bang Comics. So if you're interested in, like, the Golden Age of Comics uh, or the Silver Age of Comics, they still make comics that are in that kind of vein. And it's really kind of interesting. I, I read a little bit of it, and uh, they do a really nice job on that. So, um, so anyways, those are some of the things that we found this week while we were thrifting. Um, now... Having media, especially media from thrift stores and such, it's always a good idea to be able to clean and repair. And this week we're going to show you how to clean. In the following week, we're actually going to show you how to repair uh, this media and repair it without a machine. And you can do it very cheaply. Uh, but that's for another week. Uh, another replacement for machine is cleaning your DVDs and your CDs and your media and uh, so we're going to do that this week show you how to do that cheaply and um, I don't know if you can see this it may be very difficult um, unfortunately it's the best I can do at the moment but this particular CD while not scratched or DVD excuse me while not scratched has a lot of smudges on it and um, that can cause obviously uh, difficulty in your playback and so in order to be able to clean it um, the best way and actually I discovered this because I bought a cleaner and then I just read the ingredients what actually was this cleaner and all it was was glorified rubbing alcohol which you can get at your dollar store or you can even get these at Walmart or whatever um, in fact I think at Walmart it's even cheaper than the dollar store but regardless, you can get them for a dollar or under. And all I do is put the uh, alcohol, the rubbing alcohol, into a little spray bottle. And the spray bottle itself, I got that also at the dollar store. I got uh, probably five or six in a little package for a dollar. And uh, that comes in, obviously, very handy. And you'll notice... Uh, a lot of weeks when, uh, as we continue, and I'm talking about this, I'll be mentioning the dollar store a lot because that's basically where I get everything. I get uh, most of my stuff at the dollar store, and uh, it's a hit or a miss. Sometimes you can get something at the dollar store that's garbage, you know. But there are other times when you get something at the dollar store that is just as good as what you would buy elsewhere, and in fact, uh, obviously a much better bargain. So it's like anything else, you know, even thrifting. Sometimes you think you're getting a great deal and ends up not being so great. So it, it's still a gamble. And yet um, when you're talking, you know, a few dollars here and there, you're more willing to gamble with that than you are with a lot of money. So anyways, you put the rubbing alcohol into the bottle here. And then obviously you take your DVD or your CD or whatever media you're going to clean. And I like to put a couple of squirts on there, just like that. And then the next thing is a microfiber towel, basically a chamois. And these are the things that you can buy. You also, I also got this at the dollar store. You buy these to wax your car or whatever. Um, some people use them for uh, cleaning off their glasses. Uh, the point is that they don't scratch. Now, some may argue and say, okay, they leave minute scratches. They may leave something that you can't see with your eye. That's all right. If you can't see it with your eye, the uh, player isn't going to see it either and you're going to be fine. So the point is you put a couple of squirts on your DVD or your CD and start to rub them off with a towel. Now you notice I'm using a circular motion and anybody that knows anything about 
uh, directions for cleaning these things, it always says don't rub in a circular motion. While that is true, if you're leaving behind scratches, it doesn't matter if you're not leaving scratches. The reason is because a circular scratch on a, on a media like this is much harder for it to read through than a straight scratch. If you don't feel comfortable doing the, uh, you know, circular motion, then don't. You, you don't. It's not necessary. You can use just the regular motion. Uh, in this particular case, I saw a smudge that was still on there, so just gave it another application and wipe it off. And you just wipe it a few times until you don't see any streaks or any smudges left. And in this case, it looks very good. And unfortunately, you're probably not going to see that very well on the screen. And I apologize for that. Um, we'll figure out a better way, probably not using a webcam. Uh, but regardless, uh, that took all the smudges off and now it's ready to play. And I even use that sometimes to clean off the front, um, meaning the uh, the label itself and as long as it's not an actual paper sticker or something it works great for that too so um, hopefully that's helpful uh, I know it doesn't seem like any great shakes uh, it's not rocket science and yet that worked out wonderfully and the original bottle that I bought um, was a lot more than a dollar for like I don't know five or six of these little bottles full maybe even more ten uh, but regardless, it saves a lot of money, and you can clean up a lot of uh, DVDs and CDs. And again, like I said, I've even used that on records. It works real well on the LPs on cleaning them also. So that's it for this week, guys. Uh, all these items that I showed you, they're going to be available on our website, and there'll be a link down below for you to, to go to the website. Um, and if you're interested, we also have a Facebook page, Early Days Productions on the Facebook page. Uh, if you have comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear uh, results if you guys have tried this and, and or if you have something even better. We're certainly uh, willing to take a look at anything, any ideas that you have. Uh, if there's other items that you're interested in finding, um, where we go out every week, almost every day, searching for items at thrift stores. And uh, if you're interested in a particular item, let us know and we'll see what we can do about finding it. Um, we try to be very reasonable in our pricing. Um, usually we try to be the cheapest, but I can't always guarantee that, but we're always competitive and we pride ourselves on our service. We really care. And it's not just a job. Uh, it's something that we are passionate about because it's a hobby too. So, um, so if you have any other questions or any comments, leave them down below and uh, have a great week and we'll see you next week. And again, next week we're going to talk about how to repair this and that includes CDs, DVDs, uh, games, um, any of those types of things we can repair without a machine and done cheaply. So uh, we'll do that next week. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.